Okay, here's my kind of cobbled up arrangement of my improved uh, or attempted approved uh, fuel tank. This is a vapor fuel uh, carburetor tank and uh, I'm using a perfume bottle here laid on its side as the fuel tank. Um, it's um, about three, I see it's all about seven eighths of an inch thick and uh, probably uh, an inch and three quarters wide and close to four inches long I think. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the video here, but uh, I don't have, I have hardly any fuel in there. As you can see, it's just a thin layer in the bottom. Um, <clears throat> there's a uh, slit in the back here that lets air in. And then here's the uh, tube that let, takes the air out. And again, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a rotating collar on the bottom of that brass uh, pipe that covers or uncovers a hole. Right now it's about... Uh, half uncovered, uh, which means that it's pulling in um, about as much air as it is fuel at this point from the tank. Um, the idea behind this tank is to create as large a surface area on the fuel as I can to uh, improve the amount of uh, fuel that, uh, uh, that evaporates and turns into vapor uh, over the top of the fuel and that's what the engine pulls in to fire. Um, so let me uh, go ahead and see if I can get it to start up here. Now you can see it's running quite good with that mixture. Um, you can also see that the, uh, the amount of movement in the fuel level as on each time it sucks in air is pretty minimal. It doesn't really disrupt the uh, surface very much. I don't know if Disrupting it more would that hurt or help. I don't think it makes much difference, really. Um, strangely, when the engine is completely cold, um, and, I, and I presume the tank is at its warmest, you have to basically turn off all the... Um, you have to open the air, air uh, mixture all the way so it's pulling in more air and less fuel. And then as the engine runs for a little while, the, um, I'm assuming the tank cools off from all of the evaporation and thus it doesn't evaporate as much and you have to shut down the amount of air uh, and to pull in more fuel. Kind of the opposite of what you do in a normal engine where you have to make the mixture richer when it's cold and then you lean it up as, as the engine gets warm. This seems to be just the opposite. At any rate, this is just sort of a cobbled up uh, arrangement I've got here to test out the concept. I think uh, I'm happy with it, so I'm probably going to go ahead and use this arrangement in the final engine uh, mounting when I get it all uh, prettied up and assembled. Thanks for watching.